ready to leap from team member to leader? Today, we're revealing the secrets to showcasing you've got what it takes to be a future leader in your company by spearheading manageable yet impactful and career-defining change in your team. Stick around to amplify your leadership game. And there's a bonus tip at the end, so stay tuned to the end. Hi everyone, I'm Lowell, the founder of Art of Teams. We specialize in optimizing remote and hybrid teams for growing companies. Today, we're sharing knowledge not only to level up your team's performance, but to also supercharge your path to leadership. Let's dive in. Step one, charting the course. Firstly, envision where your team needs to be in the next two to three years. Make sure this aligns with your company's broader goals and values. That may mean your team needs to handle twice the amount of requests it's getting now, or in more simple terms, produce results faster, improve the accuracy of your output, and have less complaints. Think about it. You'll come up with a vision of what great looks like for your team. Got that vision? Excellent. You're already stepping onto the path of leadership. Check it with your boss and refine it so it resonates well. Step two, conducting a reality check through audits. Now, let's pinpoint where you are right now. Audits are key here. Assess factors like engagement and performance metrics like KPIs. For those in remote or hybrid settings, Art of Teams offers a comprehensive yet straightforward team audit. If you're interested, check out the description. We'll put some details there for you. Step three, bridging the gap. Next, let's look at solutions. Showcasing three levels of solutions to your boss gives them options. Consider bronze, silver and gold. Not only are you giving options, you are proving that you can be flexible and agile, a key skill for remote and hybrid team leadership, especially in a growing company. What are these solutions? Bronze, quick fixes such as revising workflows and, imp and improving communication flows. Silver, mid-level changes like upskilling the team. And gold, high impact solutions like adding new resource, think contractors, full-time employees, part-time employees, and also restructuring the team. Now, when it comes to restructuring the team, I want you to trod lightly here, as this can be perceived as crossing the line with your boss. This really depends on your relationship and your position in the team. If you're going down this route and you feel it scary, frame it as thought from where I stand and state that you don't have the full picture, but you thought it was worth sharing these thoughts for them, your boss, to consider from a strategic perspective. So there's how you catapult from operational day-to-day -day tasks to operational change management that moves your team towards a much sought after future state. To recap, one, identify where the team needs to be in two to three years, aligning with the company's vision. Two, understand the gap by conducting a team audit. And three, bridge the gap with a series of skilled solutions. Bonus time. One, if you want to make this happen now, schedule some time with your boss to discuss your future career tra trajectory as a leader. Tell them you want to make a tangible change that will support your leadership career. And to do that, you want to be of more support to them so they can focus on what they do best, strategic growth. Next, tell them you want to make an operational difference for the team and you've got some ideas. Next, mention and explain the three steps. One, the team vision. Two, the audit and the report. And three, the scaled solutions. Time to give your boss some assurances. These is, this is what they're going to need to hear from you. One, that this isn't going to interfere with your day job or anyone else's day job. Two, that this isn't going to negatively affect your boss's career or image within the organization it needs to improve it. Three, this isn't going to end with unrealistic solutions. Like it takes too long or it's too expensive or it's too disruptive. Once you get those assurances, commit to creating a plan over the next two to four weeks, which will run, which you will run through with your boss. 
if you get the go-ahead be sure to reach out and let us know we're also happy to help you where we can so by taking the lead in driving change you're showcasing more than just task execution you're revealing strategic foresight and problem solving this not only elevates your team but also marks you as a future leader within your organization Thank you for tuning in. If this resonates with you, consider subscribing and liking this video. Until next time.